Good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping safe and well. The sun is shining, sunglasses are on. We are over at Farm 2 today, combining a bit more winter wheat. And don't forget guys, if you like today's video, please be sure to give it a massive thumbs up. It really does help the channel. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and tap the little bell as well to get notified when I upload a new video. So as you can see, I'm in the John Deere. I'm on carton juices this morning. Got the blue trailer on the back of the Marston trailer now. The uh, John Deere is so big, any trailer you put on the back, it just ends up looking like a wheel wire. It looks a bit silly, but yeah, the John Deere is on carton duties today. Me and dad are gonna swap over soon. I'll be doing a bit of combining and he'll be doing a bit of carting. I think at that point, I will just leave the camera in here, in the cab. You guys can have a bit of dad cam for a bit while he's uh, carting the wheat. Just leave the camera running and uh, we'll see what happens. Nick's going to unload. Nick's on the combine now. That's not bad. That's a pretty centre. I don't think you see Nick's got that spot on. He's, he's just closed the throttle down there. Right, let's get this one in. I don't like karting. I'm much sooner be combining as a rule, but uh, the brake's quite welcome. The good thing about this John Deere, you can see over the top of this trailer, not like some, find out where he's been putting it. You can't see, but uh, Ray's uh, repairing the road. You feel these bumps, it's, it wants to be here. Right, so I'm getting back to the back. <laughs> oh, it's a funny thing, these barns, they seem big when you're standing in them, but when you're in a tractor, the barn becomes very small. I bet there are tractor drivers all over the country, tipping wheat and tipping crops off somewhere, backing into the black hole of Calcutta. It's horrible job. 
the doorway is only just wide enough. Oh, it's a man. Right, let's concentrate. Ever so tight for head. Well, I think that's it. It's coming down slowly. I think it's out. I think that was successful. Let's go back and see if we can find Nick. Probably see in a minute, or we'll probably see earlier on, we're actually rowing up straw now. Wills is going to have the straw over here. There's not a very big tank on that 760. 770 had the bigger tank. I wish we'd got a bigger tank. No matter what size of tank we have, you always want to <laughs> The next size up. <laughs> it's all header, no tank that combine. <laughs> I'll have to concentrate. I'm just going by a little, I'll stop here if you can see it. It's a little oak tree I'm going by there. That was self set up. It was really in the way. But uh, we've sort of gone round it, I think. <laughs> We're obviously going to leave it now. <laughs> All header and no tank. <laughs> I know a lot of uh, Nick's viewers will wonder uh, why we're chopping the straw, but uh, we, we do bail a certain amount. But we do like uh, we have a rotation going around, and uh, every other year we we'll, we'll definitely chop it because we want to put something back into the ground. And just around here, there's not that big a market for straw. If we were probably in a, in a more livestock area, then maybe we'd, we'd bear it all. It's going to definitely tell me off of this. I'm doing it all wrong. <laughs> you see, if I do it badly enough, he won't let me cart anymore and I can get back to the combine. I'll make a really bad job. I'll leave it a bit of skill with, too. That would really annoy him. What's the point in getting old if you don't know all the tricks? <laughs> it's light tonight, so it's actually three quarters full. People say, why doesn't that combine or all combines have a proper, almost like a fuel gauge? And uh, I don't know why they haven't got that worked out yet. That was either three quarters full or fully full with a light, with a light or bus that comes on. Right. Hard work carting in. Let's get back to that combine. Actually, Nick's a good combine driver. He's got his clothes in No. I'd say 17, 18. Then check the backboard. I don't know whether you can see, but he's just uh, drawing up to the trailer. Not bad. Might be a bit, oh no, spot on. Not bad at all. There's only a little bit there. We're going into the bottom field. That'll be fine. I think I'm going to do the bottom field because it's quite stony. <laughs> <laughs> you probably heard last year what happened to poor Nick. He, he did pick a stone, and it wasn't Nick's fault. I suppose it was Stone's fault. Really. <laughs> that scout, an old variety, quite short, quite nice scout, good weight, very old fashioned, I expect, but very reliable. I think what Nick does is wait while you're waiting. <laughs> I'm just going to put a bag over you for a minute, sorry. <laughs> so the original plan was to cart all this wheat back to the home farm, but it didn't quite work out this time. Uh, the main reason being, the uh, tipping sheds back at home are full, so there's actually no space to tip. We've still got to sort out the wheat that we've uh, combined at home so far. That all needs uh, sorting out, so there's no space to tip there. Plus, the home farm's about five miles away from farm two, so it'd be a 10 mile round trip with the tractor and trailer, so it would probably take three tractors to keep up with the combine. My cousin Will did offer to help, so 
we could have had three tractors going, but as it turns out, he's busy with other stuff, and uh, yeah, like I said, there's no space to tip the grain anyway. So, we're making use of the sheds that are here, you know, so plan B, it's always good to have a plan B. It just means we've got to uh, shift it all back to home at some point, but yeah, we've got some sheds here, so it's not the end of the world, plus we've got the drying floors, uh, the sheds here, uh, we've got a fan and drying floors, so we can get some air blowing through the wheat if we need to. Yeah, it seems to be going okay here at Farm 2, pretty much the same as what we were doing at home when we first started. The computer is reading where I am now, right in the middle of the field. I'm getting about four and a half tonnes on the readout, but on the headlands, it was more around the three mark. So I think it's fair to say on average across the board, we're hitting just over three tonne an acre. That would be the average, but like I said, in places, it's in four and a half, about 4.6 a few minutes ago, right in the middle of the field. So considering the year we've had, the yield isn't too bad. It's better than we expected it to be. There's a bit of ground at home that we're yet to combine that we're probably not worried about, but we're probably sort of not going to overestimate the yield on that one. It established a bit funny. It wasn't quite the right conditions when I drilled it, but it was one of those no time so if I've got to get it in now we won't get it in at all so yeah but overall we're uh, pretty happy oh he's got me lunch pepper pig bag Percy pig bag <laughs> oh, Percy, pig. Percy pig that's good I knew it was yours because it's a wrap ah you know, so I know it's not mine. We've got Marks and Spencer's lunch. I've got Marks and Spencer beef sandwiches. I hope. Beef ones? Beef ones. Beef. Hang it on. Yeah, all good. Are you, are you enjoying karting? Uh, to be honest, no. It's quite, it's quite hard work, isn't it? <laughs> it is actually, I'm yeah. I'm that time. I'm going to push it up. That's all right. And move some round. Move some round, yeah. Those doors just aren't wide enough, are they? Yeah, it's pretty tight in there. Yeah. It's horrible, actually. Can we go come by, Dee? No. So I'll finish this one, then, then we'll swap back. See you later. Right, back on carton duties now. Unfortunately, it's down to spit with rain. That wasn't on the forecast. I think that cloud there is just missing us. So fingers crossed, we don't get any more than just these odd spits we're getting now. That would really put a damper on the day, that would. shifting some weeds over from that side to this side the reason being is it's pretty tight to tip in here because of the doorway and the shape of the shed as you get nearer the door with the wheat it does get pretty tricky for tipping so the last couple of loads we brought back from the field I tipped on the other side so instead of pushing up every couple of loads I'm now going to be bringing it over from that other side onto this side because obviously there's still lots of space in this shed that I want to make use of. It's just pretty tricky as you can see and you know, it's pretty tight for getting the trailer in as you come near the door you can't get the trailer right up so yeah just shifting some of this stuff over. What's good about these sheds um, both the sides on here um, are drying floors. What we've got is we've got a fan at the back of the shed that we can turn on to get some air blowing through the wheat so depending on how long this wheat's going to be here before we take it back home, you know, we can get some air running through because this is about 17% moisture, so it probably could do with a bit of air running through it. Yep, 
You're right. Yeah, yeah. You're coming up, are you? Awesome. Okay, yeah. Yeah, all right. I'll see you in a bit then. Yeah, see you later. All right, I've got my missus coming up. She's going to come and uh, have a ride with me in the John Deere. Perfect time, we're coming to Tim. Oh, he's moving Bill. We're on to uh, the next building now. It's only a small note. Yeah, that's right. Because it's the last little bit from that other field. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We've done that one, that one, that one, and now we're in that one. Yep. Rode up the straw ready for Will. I don't know when he's going to come and bail it. See what I mean with my hat like this? Like the cool kid. Yeah. The cool cat. Handsome. Handsome? Oh. She thinks I'm handsome. Right. Let's roll. Dad will be uh, 67 tomorrow. Uh, yeah, if you want to wish Dad a happy birthday for tomorrow, which actually might be the day you're watching this video, so if you're watching this video on Sunday, if it's up on Sunday, that is actually Dad's birthday. So wish him happy birthday. He won't like me now because I said, said his age. 47, he's 47. Thank you. Can you manage? I'm not coming in, I won't get out. <laughs> you can see there's a bit of green in it. That's, yeah. That's what's come off the headland. A lot of people spray it off, you see. That sorts out any of the green bits. But uh, this field is going to a stewardship scheme. And as part of the rules, we're not allowed to apply pre-harvest um, pesticide, so. Pesticide, herbicide, sorry. All right, moisture test. Yeah, we're about the same, about 17. 17%, about what I thought. Tap that one out to go up again so you can knock it up one or two. That'll do you. Oh, baby hair, you little. Deliver it. Yeah, you won't get it. They're quick. That's it. That's good. That's enormous. Is it not too tight? That's it. Keep going. Keep uh, see what I mean? No, sorry, keep going. Keep going. You're going to brush the hedge, but that's only. You see what I mean? The trailer's not going to follow the exact pattern of the tractor. Why do you trust me with this? <laughs> you're fine. You see why you've got to take a wide turn? So you turn to the yard when you uh, get a bit further forward. Stop. That'll do, yeah. Right, so flip that down. That's it, you're neutral now. Okay. What have you done to the sea? <laughs> I've got to go back up. <laughs> <laughs> You see what your gear in tells you there, you're in forward eight. Where does it say that? On the pillar there. Oh yes. And I go that way. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, back to where we're going from. Yeah, boy. You got it. Yeah, the hang of it now. It's fun, isn't it? It's driving a tractor. Yeah, well I like it. It's good, because I do it a lot. Is that too fast? That's alright. It's fine, yeah. Hey, yeah. Just keep going down this way. You want to turn around so you're facing this way and you need to take a nice wide turn with the train. Now turn right. Ah. Nice, not too sharply. Just nice swing it round back onto that tram line and then we'll get you unloading on the move, yeah? Oh. <laughs> we don't do that a lot just because of the uh, compaction and stuff. But yeah, that's uh, that'll be a test for you. That's it. That's a bit abrupt. It was a bit Sorry. abrupt. Into P. That's it. Job's a carrot. And fan is your aunt. And fan is your aunt. That's right, it? 
Right, he wants one on the move then. avoid doing that a lot is uh well why is it Hayley what's the magic word what's that she wasn't even listening the magic word Hayley it's why we don't do that all the time compaction compaction right the battery is going to run out so we'll leave the video here today guys as always if you like the video give it a thumbs up thumbs up thanks for watching guys see you later